everybody's talking about Paul World. It has overtaken the internet by storm. People are trying to cancel the game. So much so that it is blowing up right now. <laughs> the boycott is surely working. Am I right? But we're going to check out this controversial opinion. We're going to try to understand why people are mad and upset with it. Like this video if it should not be canceled. Dislike the video if this game should be canceled. But roll it. Play loop that works. And that is what matters most. And I think a lot of gaming development studios don't understand this. And that is kind of why I do feel like there's so much anger about this experience. And also some frustration directed at Nintendo with what they've done with Pokemon the last Yeah, 20. a lot of people are saying it's just Pokemon with guns, bruh. Or so years. And I think a lot of the, the reaction that people are having with Power World is just upset with how Pokemon just has not evolved enough. Yeah. And I think that kind of makes sense. <laughs> the reason why it hasn't yeah. evolved is just because there's no reason for it. Game Freak and Nintendo feel comfortable. They feel comfortable with the fact that there's going to be controversy with the releases yep. and nothing's going to happen because the game's still going to go on to sell 20 to 30 million copies. I and mean, damn, right? This is... I can talk for days about call of duty and bunch of your guys favorites fps games or your favorite games in general how many games you think should not be selling that well but they sell and you're constantly complaining about it you hear other people complain about it because let's be real modern warfare 3 it's a 70 dollars patch and it's still sold more than 10 million copies they're not revealing it publicly because they're gonna look bad because it's actually less than last year but but still you saw know? that in the last number of releases there's been so many endless uh, videos and people mocking these games online and it just doesn't there's no consequences yeah. and uh, ultimately that is why i think there's so much satisfaction with a game like drama creates more sales essentially that's what it comes down to people hate it but people still buy it. you know it's one of existing those in the things. first place but like I said, massive success story so far. Sold over 4 million copies in only about 3 days. Damn, this is coming from the official insane. count. Momentum and right now I'm hearing it's 10 million actually. It's increased since yesterday with the latest sales at 86,000 units per hour. That's just insane. Holy. VGC article acknowledging that Power World hits more concurrent Steam players than Cyber... And this is the live player count. Look at that. 924, almost a million. Like that is, oh, that is an absolute insane number. It beat Call of Duty like it was nothing. I believe it's doing Fortnite numbers now, right now if I'm not punk and elden ring just think but put that in perspective when you imagine the huge marketing campaigns that both of those games had cyberpunk more than elden ring of course yeah. but to, to beat out those games at launch it's just crazy in my opinion and then it again is. just comparing right now got the stupid ad in the way but <laughs> nine hundred thirteen thousand yeah. players i think it's like 12 o'clock eastern standard time right now Let's see the that's just one huge and then it peaked earlier today at 1.2 million i would not be surprised to see uh this be broken 1.2 million by the time he made the video currently it's 1.5 oh, i love to see that and i have not played paul world uh but you know what if the game blows up and if i like what i see then sure hell yeah man why not give it a give it a shot because right now there's a massive drought in gaming man tell me one game you're currently playing right now again tomorrow uh like i said right now the momentum with this game is only in increasing as word of mouth goes around. Unfortunately, yeah. though, there is a lot of controversy. Many of the points that I made yeah, on earlier about this it. video, the lazy plagiarism, all the accusations, this is, well, this is what's happening. Power World <laughs> embroiled in AI and Pokemon plagiarism. Accusations! Accusations! Plagiarism! You're copying my game! You, you are copying my microtransactions formula yeah. in your game! Dog, it, 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 I, I swear to God, man, like, these games, some of these game devs are jelly AF, though. Jurism controversy, uh, Power World by Japanese studio Pocket Pair released into early access, blah, 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 you know that. The huge launch exposure inevitably reignited discourse that has followed Power, Power World since its announcement around its character designs, apparent similarities to Pokemon. Mm. And I do think we need, people need to understand similarities doesn't mean anything. Yeah, exactly. And that's why I think my immediate reaction- Nothing is original and that is okay. Every, what I mean by or nothing is original is that everything in this world takes inspiration, right? Like me making this video right now, I took inspiration. I saw the top and right now I'm covering it, putting my own spin to it. You're, you are watching this video, you're gonna get inspired or you're gonna get ideas and you're gonna go on and do something else. It doesn't mean that you're gonna go ahead and create a video game. Maybe 1% of 1% of you watching this video might actually do that in 10 years from now, 20 years from now, you know what I mean? Or maybe five years from now. What I mean is that every movie, every song you listen to, every game you play, every art you see, uh, it's another, completely another topic where, you know, AI can create the, the art within like seconds. That's Bruh. completely different. But but you know what I mean, right? Everything you see in this world has been inspired off of something. Nothing is original no more. You take the inspiration and you put your own spin to it, and that's originality. And it's absolutely pathetic to see them actually go ahead and be like, yeah, yeah you're just copying the game. You're, yeah, to a certain degree, it's probably gonna have some elements, but guys, we, the planet, we have been on this planet for thousands of years, and the planet has been alive for billions. So surely, 
not everybody's gonna have original ideas and that is fine as long as you have your own take on it was that Nintendo being how litigious they are they'd probably take legal action against Power World but that has not happened yet and I think it is very interesting because this game is very clearly taking that inspiration and they're all Nintendo be like hold my beer son just give us few more days so just saying at the same time you know it's a parody it is a satire of Pokemon with its character designs yeah and there's not much Nintendo can do about that I think um, and this actually was brought up by a lawyer's perspective we'll talk about that a little later on this video Holy. as we go through this but although the gameplay of Power World is closer to survival games like Ark and Rust than games I want to know your thoughts on it should this game be canceled should nintendo actually file a copy strike like uh they were alinity uh, or, or, uh, free the game free the game should not be banned i want to know your thoughts like for no cancellation dislike for hey cancellation Bruh. i, I don't know. series i pointed free that out speech, many social media users have noted the obvious in influences comments. its character designs have uh, taken from the nintendo series uh, the situation is further muddled in the eyes of some of Pocket Pair's historical relationship with generative AI tools. Now, the big thing is with AI, we've seen a lot of video game companies the last couple of weeks getting in trouble with this. Electronic Arts got in trouble with that with some of the marketing for Apex Legends. Wizards of the Coast with Magic the Gathering and some of the uh, background artwork they did for uh -huh. some of the cards they were showing off. Um, and the, this is the big thing. The CEO of Pocket Pair has a massive history with AI. He has talked about it and they have Man, used- Man, AI has overtaken the internet and literally our lives as a whole. Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? I mean, I, I don't think it's good or bad or it's that easy. I think it's a little bit of both. There are good things with it. For example, creating a, uh, art is actually a good thing for people that do not do art for a living. Because if you're somebody that used to make like photos, art, you know, you would have to think creatively for hours, if not days, if not weeks, right? To come out with something really good in your mind and then you would put it on the paper, you would sketch it out, didn't like it, whatever, you're gonna do it again over and over and over and again. And then at the end, you're gonna have the final product, which would feel good uh, at least i hope so and that would have your soul uh and it would felt rewarding in a way right because you would make that you would be happy with it then you sell that to your client or even if it's not for your client you're doing it for yourself uh whatever right nowadays if you do something like that people would be like that's ai bro Bruh. you ain't talented bro Bruh. that's ai bro you did not make that that was an ai that Bruh. made it uh, so in that aspect, if your work was about like art or you were an artist, I mean, in that aspect, it's done. So we're, we're also seeing AI voiceover and how many channels we got on YouTube that does AI videos, right? It is crazy, man. Did. Um, as noted by an X by this user, one of their previous titles was AI Art Imposter, a game which literally utilizes an AI uh, image generator as its core mechanic. And here it is. Yeah. This is what they're referring to. But, but on the other side, the reason it's good is because if you're not uh, working as an artist and you need something quick and you don't want to spend money, hey, you can do it within seconds. You know what I mean? So in that aspect, it's fast, it's reliable, it's not old though. Okay. It is not old though. It's not old and reliable just yet, but it is new and reliable. Kinda. Um, Kinda. And among many artists and game developers in the industry who right now are becoming more and more outraged and scared for the future that their jobs will be taken away by AI generated stuff like this. Yeah. Um, this is again, the controversy is being ignited by stuff like this. And that's why there's so much rage at the success of Power World coming from so many users on social media, specifically a lot of art. And if I'm not mistaken, right? Like this actually has been brought, this point has been brought in so many times in the Call of Duty community as well, especially by the homie Blame Truth that Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, the latest one has been made by yeah. Yes. Now it does continue. The it's user not, also but, highlighted you know. multiple historical expos by Pocket Pair CEO Dakuro Mizobi, in which he appeared to praise the potential of AI image generators for content creation. And I do think we have a couple of other examples. These are some tweets that he made. Um, he talks about the use of AI for monster designs. This is what has gotten him in trouble, and there's so many different posts highlighting these tweets. He said in November of 2022, if you pass it through the filter of AI, the image is often not of a specific thing, so maybe the copyright issue will be resolved. I was surprised to see that the world is actually moving in that direction and about 30 years the general public's perception of copyright may have changed considerably yeah. then we have another tweet and this one specifically is what has caught in a lot of people's uh, made their eyebrows being raised the ai has evolved so much that i can no longer tell which one is a pokemon left yeah, pokemon holy. like monster generated by ai right real pokemon and then they show holy. some pictures comparing the two and yeah uh, ai has literally overtaken and in tw 10 20 30 years from now i guess if we're still alive and if we have not blown ourselves up guys i think the world is going to be completely 
completely different. Yo, what what games we're gonna have in 30 years, right? And are they actually gonna be made by the devs? Oh, by real people? Or is it gonna be made by AI though? Think about this for a second, right? Like 30 years from now, are we gonna have GTA 6 or 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 or, or no GTA? I, I mean we're gonna get GTA 6, what am I saying? Are we gonna have GTA 7 or no GTA 7? Are we gonna have the PlayStation 10 or no PlayStation 10? Right, and will it actually be having games that are made by devs or by the AI? Uh, oh, shit. oh shit! You know what I mean? Like, um, yeah, big no no in the eyes of many individuals on social media. And before we do continue, I think it really is important to hit on that AI accusation that is being alleged yeah. here against Pocket Pair and Pal World because specifically, this developer has already talked about this recently. They talked about the development history of this game and they talked about how they worked on 100 plus pals and they were all originally designed. They oh, mentioned me. that it took a month to make one pal just the 3D model. This was early on, and I think they streamlined the process as the development went on, and they specifically go into how the whole process of it. So the AI accusation- And you guys were accusing- I'm not talking about you guys watching the video. Let me show you some kisses. But you guys were literally attacking them and saying they, they were, they were, this was all AI. Come on, man. They put their heart and soul into it, damn it. They have one month for one uh, Pokemon looking, or I should say, Paul world in this situation. Bruh. They took one month, and you guys have been accusing them that they use AI. Come on, man. Like, come on, dog. Y'all be like, bruh. bruh there's just no proof of it at all and specifically on the, the CEO's tweets one of those tweets we just talked about a second ago it is removing important context as this Twitter user actually brings up saying that don't believe the lies that Palworld is using AI generated art liars are claiming that Palworld used AI, AI art based on posts made by their CEO specifically Damn. that Pokemon post I just brought up a second ago it actually removed the context <laughs> that uh, the CEO was responding to BuzzFeed using AI to create fake mon not pocket pair staff so this wasn't even something he was dabbling with he saw it on social media he commented on it and that context has not been brought up and I think that is important uh -huh. in discussions uh -huh. that we're having surrounding this game and the controversy associated with AI in Pal World. And these are some of the similarities that people have found so far with Pokemon and uh, Pal World. And it's a lot, as you can see. This individual saying, yeah. can't find the OP of this compilation, but the only <laughs> thing crazier than this extent of plagiarism is dudes angrily defending it because the game is fun. There are so many fun games that aren't plagiarized, most of them, in fact. In fact okay. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot. They all look very similar. But again, inspiration Damn. versus stealing. There is no proof that anything has been stolen. Also, adding yeah. this in after recording, but it is worth mentioning, some of these images... Yeah, inspiration, I, I think this is... Uh, it's a good debate. It's a good topic. Yeah, like there are no right or wrong, uh, I guess answers. There are, all... I guess there there are wrong answers. You know what I mean? On a second, but now nah, on a real though, like if it's inspiration, then that's fine. That's cool. But I, I guess, and, and personally, I I'm not into Pokemon. I'm not in. I never really played Pokemon. So like. Bruh. If I see Paul World and Pokemon, I guess I'm gonna be one of those guys that would actually mistake, like, hey, is that a Pokemon or is this a Pokemon? Is that a Pokemon or is this? You know, I, I'm definitely gonna be one of those guys saying I could be one of those guys, like, yo, that's copy, that's copy, you know? But still, like, if you tell me that it's Paul World, it's a, uh, and then I look at it and I'm like, yeah, it's an uh, inspiration, you know what I'm saying? Like, it is inspiration. <laughs> it's not, nah, but on a real though, like, inspiration totally, totally is fine, in my honest opinion is some of these comparisons they look nothing alike and it really is reaching and then uh as i know people are going to comment below but yeah pokemon dragon quest this is a thing that's been going on for years and uh it definitely does feel like it is a bit of a double standard with some of the comparisons some of the complaints that some individuals are making online about okay. the similarity between pokemon's design and power worlds <laughs> there is no proof that anything has been ai generated there is yeah. no proof that any of these like there's nothing here the plagiarism what is that? I mean, there's clear inspiration and satire. And they call me and Legacy Killer HD and every one of you watching the video a toxic gamer. Bruh. And we out here, we be defending games, you know? Be like, hey man, it is fine to take inspiration. The games look nothing like it. You guys are just mad and trying to boycott the game. And look! Look at that! Look at that! Oh shit! Look at that! 1.5 million! I mean... Die. That is insane, bro. I love to see that, honestly. I love to see that. But that's not something that Nintendo, Game Freak, or anybody can do anything about. Um, it does continue. We have more people sharing some other similarities. I'm the exact opposite of a Nintendo stand, but seeing Power World make tens of millions of dollars off of the most blatantly creative, bankrupt, poorly put together asset flip game is so depressing. Damn. Their entire game... Are the Holy 19,000 likes. Bruh. That is crazy, though. Yeah, is it a dev or just a gamer? I mean... Uh, I'm the exact opposite of a Nintendo stand. Okay, now nah, it's a Pokemon stand. Oh, okay. Or I mean, he's not. That's what he's claiming. But I, oh, you, obviously. 
<laughs> okay, I got a stone, man. I got a stone. Oh Company God. strategy seems not. to be that. And not. anybody who has played Power World knows that this clearly isn't just an asset flip. That is so, it's insulting to what has been created because it is something so much more. Um, and then again, they just compared the designs. I mean, look, this is a sheep. It looks like a sheep. I, Pokemon right. made a sheep and they made something that looks like a sheep. I, I don't know how you can make that similarity. God made the sheep, okay? <laughs> you know what I mean? God, you know what? God should just copy strike both of these companies here and just end it for good like the video if you agree because all of these bozos are fighting for no reason god made the sheep okay and then it's like you guys actually copied god creation and put it in your game and charge people 70 dollars holy mother of god bro like why y'all this should be free bro you guys are literally scamming your <laughs> Your audience, man. You are reselling what God has created, bro. At seventy dollars, man. God gave you for free, and you're like literally selling that to other people for money. That's some bull squash, bro. The, like the video if you're. Or great. that comparison. Then this one again. They're comparing Power World to Ark, and I don't think it's again. I don't think it's hiding any of this. And I think this is a future game because they're going to be making something that looks very similar to Hollow Knight with their next experience. Power Shield, not into originality. New game looks like Hollow Knight. Boom, boom, boom. God. But again, none of this is really an indictment on Power World, in my opinion. We have another one in which they say, it isn't even just the stolen or borrowed content either. The entire game is comprised of the UE5 default assets and barely functional animations. The entire thing just reeks of pump this game out and make some quick millions before it dies off. And... Again, uh, it, even if they use store bat assets, that was never a problem with like the day before. It's just about making. Yeah, I'm convinced. Like people are, people are hater though. I, 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 I genuinely am convinced because in all reality though, even though I'm not into the game, I look at it. It looks all right to me. Obviously, I have not played, so I cannot give you my my opinion and my review in terms of playing the game. But just looks wise, it looks okay. But it's not my type of game. I'm not hating it. I'm not loving it. All I'm saying here is that. I'm actually glad that a game is succeeding because how many times we see a game just come out and blow out of the water or blow like uh, let's just say Fortnite for example I know terrible yeah. example for some of you out there but, uh, but but you know what I mean right it's a game that's blowing up and this can be inspiration for a lot of the devs uh, to create something that is you know players friendly consumer friendly and, and that 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 is some different because i look at games like call of duty not gonna talk about gta because uh I, it's in the same boat but not necessarily because gta like came out decades ago so if it's it's still killing it gta is like completely completely a different beast it's a 70 dollars product and it still is killing it to this day absolutely insanity right but for fortnite free to play they're killing it game has been out for like what five years call of duty warzone it's free to play but not killing it uh, it, it was killing it when it first came out but not necessarily because they really don't care about their player base they're like skill based matchmaking 70 dollars one or i should not 70 70 dollars games dlc's patch notes right and 20 dollars 30 dollars bundles Bruh. and skill uh, and that's literally it you get no event in warzone and it's free to play that's like one of their biggest missed opportunity tons of cheaters they don't care about it and then you got games like these that are actually players friendly uh, and, and i hope like a lot of these devs like look at it that you don't need to be all about okay certainly to certain degree i get it you need to make money and a lot of people understand that if it's free yeah right then i get it we are the product if it's free you are the product and if it's free i get it you need them you need to make the money you need to actually pay your employees your devs and the servers cost and there's probably a lot of different uh things associated that i do not know and i'm not claiming to understand them but i get it you need to sell some microtransactions but i mean come on man like at least provide some quality experience and i feel like that a lot of people the fact that we got 1.5 million people playing that tells me that people are liking the game there's no way you're gonna have 1.5 million people playing the game and it's still climbing it's not slowing down now surely there will come a time when it's not gonna be at 1.5 million it's surely gonna die down a little bit and that's okay you know that's completely fine because you gotta understand this and i'm sure the the, the people that created this game they were never even imagining they're gonna hit that many numbers so this is a w for them 100 percent and I think this is a W for gamers as well. Whether you like this game or not, I feel like that it's good to have a game that is succeeding, you know? Functional and enjoyable experience, and that is exactly what Power World is, in my opinion. And it seems like many millions of people. Um, and then this is a thread in which they just compile compile all of the different pals in Power World and show how they look very similar to Pokemon. And here we are. We have one right here. It looks very similar in its design. I agree. This one again, another one. And we can go through them all. I'll just go through a couple. 
I mean, if these people actually, like, put this much effort into their work, they could have been making, like, some money as well in, the, in return, right? Like, boom, book, boom, book, book. Yeah, the similarities are very obvious. Uh, or to be honest, okay, you know what? In up, uh, I'm going to contradict myself because, yeah, this is a new law. This is a new rule right now. On Twitter, you can make some money. So, Bruh. yeah, in a way, you can actually make some money. Uh, although, like, it's very minimal, but y you can make a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, go get them internet points, huh? Um, but guys, recently, we actually had this as well, uh, and we had a ton of new different games that got revealed. We had about 41 minutes of gameplays, new gameplay reveals. Check this video out, and I will see you right there.